we'll now talk about the spaces lp of omega so as i already said earlier omega in rn open set and equipped with the Lebesgue measure so the sigma algebra x the set is omega and then the sigma algebra is a Lebesgue sigma algebra and mu the measure is the Lebesgue measure so such spaces since the measure is fixed since so we concentrate on the domain instead and we call these spaces LP of omega for 1 less than p less than equal to infinity. So we want to study the properties of these. These are very special. They occur in lot of applications and therefore uh, let's go ahead. So proposition. Let S be the set of all simple functions in omega or defined on omega sorry which vanish outside a set of finite measure then S is dense in LP of omega 1 less than equal to P strictly less than infinity. Okay, so what do you mean by a simple function? A simple function is a function phi of the form sigma i equals 1 to k alpha i chi of ei where chi is the chi of ei is the indicator function or the characteristic function of a set e which is 1 if x belongs to e 0 if x does not belong to e so we are saying here you can actually take the ei's disjoint and uh, the alpha i's are all real numbers okay so we say that uh, the function vanishes outside set of finite measure means the measure of EI that is the Lebesgue measure of EI is less than plus in. Now mod symbol for the set will denote the Lebesgue measure and therefore the measure of EI is finite for all i. That is what we mean by vanishing. So outside this the union of EI uh, phi is 0 so it vanishes outside a set of finite measure. So such functions we claim are dense in uh, LP of omega. So proof. Okay. So let phi belong to S. Then phi vanishes outside the set of finite measure. Then what is the value? So mod phi power p is nothing but uh, sigma mod alpha i power p chi of e i. So, if you take integral phi power p dx over omega, this is equal to sigma i equals 1 to k of mod e which is finite. Okay. So, therefore, all these functions are in LP. Okay. So, phi belongs to LP 1 less than equal to p less than infinity. In fact, it is also in L infinity because it takes only the values alpha i or 0 and therefore it is also in L infinity but that is not relevant to this particular problem. So let f non-negative f p integrable. Now any non-negative measurable function can be approximated by an increasing sequence of simple functions. So there exists phi n simple functions 0 less than or equal to phi n less than or equal to f and in fact phi n is monotonic so it increases to f. So this means that uh, automatically since phi n power p 
is less than or equal to f power p. Everything is non-negative, so I don't have to put the modulus. So the integral is also finite. So this implies that phi n belongs to L p of omega for all n. Okay. Further, mod phi n minus f is less than or equal to 2 times mod f and therefore you put a power p so you have 2 power p mod f power p this one is integrable and this one goes to 0 point wise almost everywhere and therefore by the dominated convergence theorem implies that phi n converges to f in LP. So we have approximated f in fact by simple functions which vanish. Uh, also further I forgot to say one thing. Since phi n is less than or equal to f, phi, phi n is in LP and therefore this implies that phi n has to belong to s also because automatically because if it, it did not vanish outside a set of positive measure and it is a simple function then the integral will blow up. Okay, so phi n automatically belongs to S and therefore we have approximated F by means of simple functions which vanish outside a set of finite measure. Now if F belongs to LP of omega, you write F equals F plus minus F minus the positive and negative part. So F plus is nothing but the max of F and 0. F minus is the mini minus the minimum of f and 0. So both are non-negative functions and you have f equals f plus minus f minus and mod f in fact is equal to f plus plus f minus. Okay. So then you have phi n, uh, you have psi n, okay phi n converging to f plus phi n in s, this convergence is in LP and then you can have psi n which also converges in LP to f minus by the uh, uh, psi n in S. So you put chi n equals phi n minus psi n then chi n converges to f plus minus f minus equals f in LP and of course chi n belongs to S and this proves the theorem. So we have found that anything can be approximated. So this leads us to an important theorem. Let so which we will repeatedly use. Okay, one less than equal to P less than infinity omega in Rn open then C C of omega is dense in LP of omega. So what is CC of omega? So CC of omega equals set of all f from omega to Rn r such that f is continuous and support of f is compact and contained in omega. So what is support of f? instead of all x in omega such that fx is different from 0 and then you have to take the closure. So it is a closed set always and that set is a, if it is a compact then you say it is a continuous function with compact support. So these functions vanish outside a compact set. In particular they vanish outside a set of uh, finite measure. Okay, So that is uh, uh, these are functions but they are not simple they are continuous functions okay so we want to show that these functions are dense in lp of omega okay so proof so enough to show s uh, sorry that any phi in S can be approximated in the LP norm by uh, G in CC of omega. 
because any fns can be approximated by phi if every phi can be approximated by g by the triangle inequality you have that any f can be approximated as closely as you like by uh, function g so let epsilon so let phi belong to s and let epsilon be greater than 0 okay so then by lucin's theorem So this is a theorem in analysis which say in measure theory. So we say there exists G in CC of omega. So it's a continuous function with compact support such that G equal to phi except possibly on a set of measure less than epsilon okay so uh, function uh, measurable function uh, in s is almost like a continuous function with compact support namely you can be make it equal to a continuous function with compact support with failing except only where you fail that will be a set which is a, a very small measure and further norm g infinity its sub norm is less than or equal to norm phi infinity which is also phi is also in l infinity as i said remarked earlier and therefore you have this okay so so then what do you have you have integral on omega mod g minus phi power p dx is what is less than or equal to so norm g is less than or equal to norm phi so this is equal to 2 power p norm phi uh, infinity power p that will all come out then you have measure you won't have measure of omega because g equal to phi except on a set of measure 0. So, this function is 0 except it is non-zero only on a set of measure less than epsilon. So, that measure will come here. So, this is less than 2 phi epsilon and therefore, this shows that c c omega is dense uh, approximates s in LP in the sense I mentioned above uh, and hence CC of omega is dense in LP. Remark, in fact we can say D of omega which is C infinity functions with compact support in omega this is a much smaller set c c omega is bigger c infinity you want them to be infinitely differentiable this is also dense in lp of omega but this requires more sophisticated tools from analysis like convolution and so on and we will not prove it in this place okay so next corollary let omega contained in Rn be open, let 1 less than equal to p less than infinity, then Lp omega is separable, double that means there exists a countable dense set, okay proof. So, Weierstrass theorem says so, Weierstrass what does it say? So, if G belongs to CC of omega then on support of G which is a compact set we can, appro we can approximate G uniformly that is in the L infinity norm by a polynomial and hence by a polynomial with rational coefficients.
So if P is such a polynomial with rational coefficients and you have G minus P, infinity is as small as you like, then uh, on support of G, you outside the support G is 0, you put P also to be 0. So, you get a, a LP function all right because it is uh, continuous uh, in the support and outside it is a closed set and outside it is 0 that is fine. The support is of compact and therefore, it has finite measure. Therefore, this function P is in LP. So, you this will also imply that norm G minus P in LP is small. Less than the epsilon times the measure of something and so on. So it will be is also small. And therefore, uh, and uh, notice that polynomials with rational coefficients on a compact set is a countable set. Okay. So so now we write omega equals union n equals one to infinity omega n, where omega n is omega intersection b zero n the ball in Rn with center origin and radius n. Then uh, you have that omega n is bounded and therefore omega n closure is compact. Okay. Now let epsilon be greater than 0 and f uh, belong to LP of omega. Okay, that means we take a representative which is a P integrable function. Then you have there exists a G in CC of omega such that norm F minus G in LP is less than epsilon. So, let K be the support of G compact. Okay. So, then we can find a polynomial. So, there exists P, capital P polynomial with rational coefficients such that for all x in omega n, we have mod g x minus P of x is less than epsilon by mod omega n power 1 by p and therefore this implies that norm g minus capital p now you put p equal to 0 outside omega n then p will become a lp function as i explained earlier and you will have norm g minus p in small l in lp is less than epsilon by the choice okay because outside omega n everything is zero and inside it is less than epsilon by this so just a measure will get multiplied okay so therefore you have norm of f minus p is less than 2 epsilon. So, you can always find a polynomial with rational coefficients with uh, on a compact set such that uh, this is okay. So, what is n here? So, this k is supportive then this is contained in omega n for some n because k is a compact set it is closed and bounded and therefore, it has to be inside one of the omega n's okay. So, that is the n which we are taking here. Okay. So now you take phi n equals uh, polynomials with rational coefficients in omega n closure and 0 outside. So this is a countable set and therefore union phi n is countable and we have just seen it is dense in LP and therefore LP is separable. Okay, so this is the proof of this important uh, corollary which says that all the LP spaces other than L infinity are separable. So what about L infinity itself? So proposition.
omega contained in Rn, open set, then L infinity omega is not separable. In fact, we will show there is no countable density. Okay, so that is what we have to show. Okay, so proof. So let x belong to omega. So then you have Rx positive such that B of x Rx is also contained in omega. There will be a ball which will contain in omega. So let us take phi sub x to be the function which is the characteristic function of this ball. Okay. And now I am going to define u of x. So this is equal to set of all f in L infinity of omega such that uh, f minus phi x norm is strictly less than half. So this is open ball in L infinity omega center phi x radius half. Okay, so this are all open open sets. So you have a collection u x x in omega is an uncountable collection of open balls. Now what if x is not equal to y? Then you look at phi x minus phi y. What are the possible values it can take? It can take the value 0 of course if x, uh, if the point where you are evaluating it lies outside both these balls bx rx and by ry or it can take 1 or minus 1 if because if it is in one ball and not in another. If it is in both the intersection of the two balls then it will be 0. So it will be 0, 1 or minus 1 therefore norm phi x minus phi y infinity is always 1. Okay. And therefore if so this implies that ux intersection uy is empty. Because if f belongs to ux and f belongs to uy then f minus phi x is less than half f minus phi y is less than half in the L infinity norm and by the triangle inequality norm of phi x minus phi y will be less than strictly less than 1 less than or equal to these two which is strictly less than 1 which is a contradiction because we know it is equal to 1. Okay, so ux intersection uy is empty. So if fn is a countable set in L infinity, it can meet at most countable number of uxs because a particular ux uh, fn can belong to only one of the uxs it can't belong to two of them okay so each fn will belong to one ux so if you take all the uxs which contain these fns they will be countable in number okay and therefore there will be several sets which do not meet ux so this implies fn is not dense because several uxs that is an uncountable collection will be left out they will not meet this set at all and therefore no countable set is dense in L infinity and therefore L infinity cannot be separable. Okay, So that is we have shown that studied the separability of the thing. We saw the reflexivity of some of the LP spaces and so now we are going to uh, 